Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday of the third week of Lent. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. You know, again, this Jesus of Nazareth did a whole lot of things in his short time on earth. He did everything he could to bring God's love to people that sometimes didn't even understand who God was. So as we begin, let's kind of reflect on our understanding of God. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us for the sin we have committed, bring each one of us home to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. We implore you most humbly, O Lord, that as this feast of our salvation draws ever closer, so may we press forward all more eagerly toward the worthy celebration of the Paschal mystery through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, this is what I commanded my people. Listen to my voice, then I will be your God and you shall be my people. Walk in all the ways that I command you so that you may prosper. But they obeyed not, nor did they pay heed. They walked in the hardness of their evil hearts and turned their backs, not their faces, to me. From the day that your fathers left the land of Egypt, even to this day, I have sent you untiringly all my servants, the prophets. Yet you have not obeyed me, nor paid heed. They have stiffened their necks and done worse than their fathers. When you speak all of these words to them, they will not listen to you either. When you call to them, they will not answer you. Say to them, this is the nation that does not listen to the voice of the Lord, its God, or take correction. Faithfulness has disappeared. The word itself is banished from their speech. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If, if today, today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts, as at Mirabah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me, they tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was driving out a demon that was mute, and when the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke, and the crowds were amazed. Some of them said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For I say to you that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come to you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So today's gospel, Jesus is driving out a demon from a man. And the people there, you know, people can sometimes be pretty difficult to deal with, sometimes problems. Jesus drives out a demon, and they say he's driving it out by the devil. But Jesus says, man, maybe it's by the devil, but what if it's by God? That means God has come to you. So, you know, you thought about that a little bit, and what I'd like you to think about is how is God working in this story? And how is God working in each and every one of your lives? By the finger of God, things are going on in your life that God has power and control 
all the good things, maybe some of the challenges. So I'd ask you during this Lenten season, while you're praying, quiet time, or anything that you're doing set aside, think about how is God working in your life? What good things have happened? We can have gratitude for that. What challenges has God have helped you overcome by your prayers, by the inner workings of others? That's what you know, we can do for Lent. We can think about and have gratitude for all the good things God has done in our lives, all the things that are going on in our life. God has his finger on all those things. Some of them are challenges, yes, but some of them are good things that happen. We overcome our challenges. We progress. We do better. That's the season of Lent. We're trying to better ourselves so that we're ready when Jesus comes to us. So God bless my brothers and sisters. For these petitions, for the church, may it be a community of love and mercy and forgiveness and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are lost or struggling in life, may they be transformed by God and helped by others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those suffering from any sicknesses, may God comfort and heal them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all of our families, may they be free from anxiety and may they be generous in showing kindness to others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who have died, may they come to share in the resurrection and peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we eat this bread to give you what earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we eat this wine to give you fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of God's holy church. Cleanse us, O Lord, from every taint of wickedness, that our gifts may be pleasing to you, and do not let us cling to false joy, for you promise us the rewards of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. just. Father, you've given us a sacred time for renewing and purifying our hearts. Freed from the disordered afflictions, we may so deal with things of this passing world as to hold to things that in eternally endure. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. Remember Anne Brannan, Phillips Lascala, Michael J. Naples, Jr., whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints, 
who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those who renew with this sacrament. We may come to possess your salvation, both in mystery and in manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lord your spirit. spirit. May God's blessing continue to guide our journey, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone. Same to you.